How about you come on, Bike Man for You instructional video product review of the Park SS15. Mm, 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 mm. So we're finishing up here on a Saturday. Uh, we had our live show today. It really went well. We had a little barbecue action going on. We had a little wings. And now we're doing some uh, regular video with the DSLR opposed to the uh, PPZ. What is it called again, Solomon? You got me, by RPZ, PZ, hand Pan zoom, rotate, no, RPZ. Tilt. tilt. <sighs> <laughs> All right, so back at you. The SS15 is a single speed spanner. It's all steel, chrome plated steel. It's a really nice looking wrench. It's got multitudes of different tools. It has a 15 millimeter here, open end for pedals, a bottle opener for your bottle opening pleasure, a 15 millimeter socket style to make that baby nice and tight. Also, it has a smooth lever spoon, tire spoon, to be able to uh, pry off your tire. Would you like to see how it works? Come on in. Come on over. You're probably going to want to switch position here, son. Probably going to want to get into over in here. I'm going to switch on over here. Give you a little demo on what's going on here. All right, the 15 millimeter is going to be able to fit right into your pedals just like that. Now, obviously, if I wanted to take this pedal off, I got to go backwards. I had this question the other day about, uh, hey, bike man, I can't get my pedal off. As long as you know which way you're turning it, I think you're going to be all right. I get it all the time. So you're going here. I'm going backwards on this one, right? Wow, son of a, that was tight. But I knew it had to go that way. So, and that was tight one. Uh, again, we shoot everything one take. We never know what's going to happen. Um, one of the things that Marco said that, wow, I think it's a cool looking tool and everything, but it's awful short. Well, hey, I was able to get that baby off. That was pretty tight. I was, I'm impressed. So, you know what? The shortness of it, if your hands are tough, you're going to be all right. Here we go with the box end here, going into here, all right? And it fits right on over that nice and tight and again we can move it over now this why would I want to take my wheel on and off on a ring these are awful rusty son of a this is son of his bike why are these so rusty sorry bike man I leave it outside a couple of nights uh-huh all right that's kind of sacrilegious all right so anyway don't let it happen again so anyway we want to flip it over from our freewheel side which is what this side is son of us running a uh, a BMX chain, a BMX half link, shadow conspiracy chain on this, by the way. Um, we have the freewheel side so we can coast. And then if he wanted to turn it around to the fixed side, he would just flip it around like that. Hence the name flip flop hub. And then on we go. And now we just, his teeth on his, on his fixed side, as well as on his freewheel side is the same. So relatively the chain is going to be able the tension we're going to be able to monitor our chain a little bit on each side don't just crank up on one side or the other when you're changing and you're flip-flopping it out um, don't go crazy on it and what kind of chain tension do you want well it depends upon where you're at you're gonna to have to check it out accordingly sorry for the back you know like right in here that's that is man that's almost damn close to perfect it's a little loose here but you know what it is is that it's the chain the machining here, it might be just a hair oblong, egg-shaped. No matter how good, even the super expensive ones, they can have that. He's also running a BMX crank on this thing. This bike doesn't go super fast. He's running no brakes on this bike, whether he's freewheel or whether he's fixie. Uh, so now we're on the fixed side. So now the fixed side means that once the wheel is spinning, the pedals are in motion. Be careful when you go to a fixed situation. Um, I know a girl, she follows us on, in, on Instagram. She went from freewheel to fixed and she did great and she pushed herself and she really did a good job. But she was also recovering from a, uh, from an injury from a fall from a birthday party and, uh, which, you know, we all happen to, sometimes that happens. The, uh, anyway, she didn't really quite recover, but she went fixed. And now she's hurting because her leg is swelling up and she's not, he, and I think I'd rec make a recommendation that she goes back to freewheel for a little bit and then go back again to fixed. Because again, there's no coasting in fixed, man. It's just always, you do spin it, let it roll. 
You know, you got to be, it be, you become one with the road when you go fixed. Uh, it's a spiritual thing. You got to have the feeling for it. And it's not a shameful thing to go back to freewheel while you're just starting out. I wish you guys the best of luck. If you're thinking about one of these, it's an awesome little tool to have. Uh, and it's easy to do. Back and forth, flip flop, baby. So I want you guys to never fear. We got the Park SS15. Bike man for you is here.